Good morning, how is everyone doing? So I've gotten up dark and early today for a trip over to Alberta. I'm gonna ski up onto uh, the Wapta ice field with my friend Rob today in hopes of uh, getting a summit on Mount Rhonda. Should be a spectacular trip. The Wapta is one of the largest ice fields in the Canadian Rockies. It stretched nearly 80 square kilometers back in the 1980s and it's a very popular ski touring destination with a number of huts to help accommodate longer ski traverses. Just feeling 100% fulfilled with life right now. What the heck, you guys. But yeah, it's, uh, it's brisk up here. That wind chill is uh, really nippy. Rocco is uh, not having it. I think she's going to be riding majority of the day out in my jacket to stay warm. I can't even believe this. How can you not love Canada? Looks like Rocco is going to get a free pass up this mountain. We're getting close now. Just one more hill to climb up and we'll be there. Oh, we made it all the way up Mount Rhonda and uh, we have a spectacular viewpoint. This is the Canadian Rockies at the very finest. There are like brief moments when the sun comes out and the wind stops where you actually feel warm. But other than that, it's uh, it's been very cold. But right now I'm actually outside of the park boundary. I'm uh, standing in British Columbia. So that means I'm clear for takeoff with a drone. So let's do it. Beautiful.
So I've made my return to BC and I've uh, met up with Louie and now we've uh, driven out to the Mitten Lake recreation site. This is normally a very busy spot in the summer but right now we have it all to ourselves and we're hoping to do a little fishing today, hopefully uh, catch some trout. But if uh, you've been watching my videos for a while you would know this is a channel that never catches any fish so to play it safe I went and bought uh, some uh, fish before I came out here. I've got this uh, wild Atlantic haddock that I'm going to marinate right now so that no matter what we should have some food to eat tonight. So first I'm going to marinate the fish. I usually just uh, eyeball it in terms of uh, quantities of each thing. So I've got uh, olive oil, the recipe called for chipotle powder, but all I have is chili powder so I'll just go with that instead. Uh, salt, pepper, jalapenos, the juice of one lime, uh, cilantro and some minced garlic. So I'll throw this all in a Ziploc bag and mix it together. So the plan is to have some uh, fish tacos tonight and pickled cabbage goes very well with that. So I'm going to quickly make some up. I'll add a third cup red wine vinegar. Third cup water. About a tablespoon of sugar. Salt. Pepper. Minced garlic. Stir this up and pour it right in there. Shake this up good. So this just needs to sit out for a minimum of two hours so the flavors can develop. But yeah, this will be a tasty topping for our dinner tonight. Let's go see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> This is it. This is the, when we get our payoff right here. It's just too windy. I, I can't go any further out without getting blown away. So I can't go deeper. I'll try tomorrow morning. I think marinating the fish really helps. Mm-hmm. For a little bit. Yeah, the cabbage is nice and zesty. Mm-hmm. So tonight we are going to play a game of Splendor Duel. It's a highly strategic uh, what coin and card game? There is randomness in it. I'd say it's very strategic. <laughs> there is randomness <laughs> for sure. There's three different decks of cards, and the goal is to either accumulate enough points to win, enough crowns to win, 
or like a stacked deck with uh, the most points. This game gives me like anger and frustration in my soul. <laughs> He's fast and decisive, <laughs> but you should feel the pressure right now. I don't, because I don't care anymore <laughs> for all the outcome. Okay, I'll finish you right now. There, game over. Nice. Finito. Fun. Fun. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> shake your dirty little hand. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's give this another try this morning. It's nice and calm. You can go a little further out. High hopes, we're actually gonna catch something. This lake is stocked with trout. There's definitely fish here. Now, this is one sport where persistence just is not paying off for me. Maybe I need to pull a, a Forrest Gump and Lieutenant Dan weather big storm in this raft and then the fish will respect me. I'm about uh, halfway out the lake now. Yesterday this was all covered in ice. It's amazing how fast it melts away. A whole lot of nothing out there. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for uh, watching another episode of uh, us not catching any fish. Hopefully uh, in the future we can find a uh, better place. Yeah, it was hard. I think rivers are better than the lakes yeah, it if was, you don't have a boat. It was slim pickings here. Yeah. But you said you saw someone out there in a boat catch something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Well, maybe it's us. Yeah. I mean, 100% it's got to <laughs> be us. Probably us. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope everyone is doing good. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>